walking out of Mazama, 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 thinking about hiking through a foot of snow, the most treacherous hiking for 70 miles that I've ever done in my entire life. And I'm still smiling. What's wrong with me? <laughs> anyway. Gotta try to catch a ride, so see you guys later. So far the views don't suck. <laughs> I think that's Whistler Mountain. Could be wrong. Cutthroat Pass is behind this tree. Not too much snow up there. Hopefully that trend continues for a while, but it's supposed to snow all week. I just got four, maybe five days to Canada now that it's getting kinda sketchy. But we're gonna do it. Yeah! Don't drop the camera. It's bad. So, made it to the top of Cutthroat Pass. And, uh, as you can see, there's a little bit of snow. Um, but I can still very clearly see where the trail is going. Hopefully that trend continues and my map skills hold up and uh, yeah, I mean, what's the PCT through hike without a little bit of snow, right? Thank you. I think so. Anyhow, uh, off to further lands to the north. Check it out. Not too shabby, hopefully. Check out that valley. With the sunlight coming through. Probably see some snowflakes flurrying around. That's Grant's Pass. No, Granite. Granite's Pass up there. And uh, looks like I'll be camping below the snow line, but it'll probably drop down a little bit. And uh, that should be pretty soon here. First day in the snow. Not too shabby. See how day two goes. <laughs> It might be too early to tell, but that might be one of my favorite views on the entire trail. The clouds and the sun and the snowy mountains that are all jagged. Holy cannoli. And not to mention the Pano. We got Granite Pass way up there and all these gnarly mountains all around and then that. Ah! This is pretty awesome. Alright. Day two in the North Cascades, and uh, got a fresh coating of snow last night, just an inch or two. Um, it was kind of just up late last night, just like stressing and thinking about all the things that I have to do. Like today, I have to push 22 miles, regardless of what the snow is like and um, make it to Hearts Pass because there's nowhere else to camp it's all just ridgeline so that'll be fun but anyway it's beautiful out here it really is it's not that cold like I think the rain it's precipitation <laughs> the precipitation is rain instead of snow at this point is this warming up pretty good? I'm gonna have to take off some of these layers. But anyway, see you guys further down the trail. Which looks like that. <laughs> Holy crap. So, I thought snow was the worst thing imaginable. Rain on top of snow is the worst thing imaginable. This is bar none. One of my top two worst days. However, if you can see it, it's like the Swiss Alps over there. And the scenery is, I mean, not bad, but rain on top of snow, that is kicking my patootie. Oh, I'm starving. I haven't taken more than like two breaks today. Ah, my heel is 
started him to kill me from having a new boot. It's not running down my face. Soaking wet. There's no point in trying to keep dry. It's just... This is the unglorious part. This is where I earned my wings for the tenth time. Here at about 50 miles to Manning Park, British Columbia. I'll see you guys later. Well, now I'm knee deep in the snow somewhere. Got icicles hanging off of my underwear. Only worries in the world are frostbite and hypothermia. <sighs> the whiteout is making for some gray skies. I'm thinking that today I might die, but that's okay, because I've led a really great life. Ah. <laughs> you know what? If you can't beat the weather, just laugh at it because everything passes. It's gonna be sunny again someday. Or I'll die, but well, I don't think so. It's still raining, so it's not freezing. Anyway, I'll see you later. I know I'll enjoy these views more from the comfort of YouTube. Yeah. That storm just blew by. So it's finally, not raining or snowing or sleeting or hailing. About seven more miles to Hearts Pass. Dang, look at that mountain over there. Pretty huge. Gotta go. Okay, so this is our band of hikers and trail angels. And we're, where the heck are we? Hearts Pass? Hearts Pass. Pass. Washington State. That's right. And there's this awesome fire. Thank you so much, Roger, right? Roger. Yeah. yeah. So, say hi, everybody. Hello. <laughs> Thank you, Roger. I'm cold. Thank you, Roger. You're cold. Thank you, Roger. <laughs> What's you guys' names? Come on. I'm Zenith. Ah. Owned by you. Yeah. PBR. PBR. Guru. Guru. And you know, we have Fart Bag. And there's Roger. And Serpent Slayer. Serpent Slayer. Serpent Slayer. Sweet. Nice. Oh. Awesome fire. All right, so I am leaving Hearts Pass and Trail Angel Roger there and all the hikers, a couple more guys came in this morning. So, Party Boy and Happy Go Lucky are done with their hikes. And um, it's cool to see people finishing, but it's like, all right, I still got 40 miles until I'm done. So. Time to hit the trail. And the weather is beautiful today. It's really icy. I already slipped and fell. <laughs> so hopefully that won't stay that way for long. But, I mean, blue sky. So I'm really excited to be out of the rain, be two days from done, and uh, had a great stay there. Got a bunch of stuff pretty dry and warm and good morale boost, so. Watch out Canada. So I'm still just a little ways up out of Hearts Pass and finally getting to enjoy the scenery of the North Cascades. Holy crap. All the snow clouds are still stuck on them. Still feeling sorry for everyone north of Rainy Pass but south of Hearts Pass. I know there's a couple people still back there. But it's beautiful to look at from here. <laughs> Onward to Canada! Just after Windy Pass, there's another pass. <laughs> All these passes are so small, but we got some pretty good views. <sighs> and uh, that's kind of the direction that I came from back there. Today is just so beautiful. I'm a little bit too warm in my jacket. A little bit too cold without it, so it's like that perfect temperature. <laughs> and uh, climbing is just going good. Um, 
last couple hundred miles I've been like thinking, so if I were going southbound and going to that terminus, where would I be? And so today I'm uh, about Mount Laguna, which is just so close to the southern terminus. But I'm not there, I mean, I'm obviously going north, you know, Canada. <laughs> I should stop talking. But anyway, it's just kind of fun to think about. And what a trip. It's thinking almost over. And this last section has truly just been one of the best parts. Way to go, Washington. That's where the trail goes. That's the pass we're heading to. It is just beautifully spectacular. <sighs> this is my last full day on trail. That definitely hasn't sunk in yet. This has just been life for the last five months. Now it's coming to an end and a new adventure will begin. All things in good time, right? That's right. Having a bit of a moment back here. Just thinking about my trail time being almost over. So Woody Pass is right up there. Those mountains on the horizon over there are in Canada. Some awesome alpine glow coming off. Whatever mountain that is. I think this is Powder Mountain. And I'm betting that the spot up there with the sunset is pretty well taken. So, uh, I'm gonna stay right here. Pretty beautiful. Alright, well, it's 7.30 a.m. on my, hopefully, my last day, and it's white out and snowing just a little bit. What a cold night! <laughs> Onward to Canada. After every day of creation, God said that it was good, and it is good. There is not a single evil thought in the mind of nature. Sometimes it's violent and aggressive and deadly, but it never seeks to take advantage of us. It's always there. And just doing what it has to do. The snow falls so that it can give us water during the summer. The fires happen so new trees can grow. It's just a pure place. It's pretty awesome. I'm gonna miss it. But all things in good time. Things are getting real out here. I'm definitely glad that I'm only about 15 miles from Manning Park. It's getting so cold, my water bottles are freezing. The Sawyer's probably no good anymore. <laughs> but check it out. Oh, finally clearing up to see some stuff. Ah. Now I just hope that I don't slip and die. Watch out, Canada. I'm sort of hiking in half anticipation and half dread that somewhere very soon around one of these corners, I'm going to see the terminus of my trail. But I don't know. This is one of those adventures that's not about the destination, but it's the journey. All right? All right. 
Well, it has been an excellent journey. Look at that. <laughs> All right. So here I am at the northern terminus. Here's my very flat cliff bar that I've been saving. So it's what it is. What up? Enjoy <laughs> it, man. It's been a long time waiting for this cliff bar. Oh. It's gonna triple the nutritional value. Yeah, it's fermented. It's a. Uh, it's really interesting. Looks like my. Shoe. <laughs> it looks like a turd. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, really hard. That's what she said. <laughs> but it's so <still> good. <laughs> Mountain top is all one kilometer. That's a, a hundred meters, a thousand meters. That's too many meters. Manning Park! Just about, anyway. Just thinking, no ways left to go. Rock on. Oh. Oh. Civilization. Cotton clothing. Shower, food, and the peace of mind knowing that you don't have to go back out into the bitter cold. Yes, sir, Manning Park is a pretty sweet place. So, peace. I made it through. Cheers to all you hikers. I hope you guys make it through. And if you haven't already, keep rocking. See you guys later.